All right, we're going to move to our um, next segment, thumbs up, thumbs down. And, you know, it's not to me, it's not about a particular player. I'm really looking at an aspect of a player's game or maybe an aspect of the team over the past week um, that I that I want to focus on. So hashtag mm -hmm. TU, hashtag TD, if you want to be a part of the um, uh, want to be a part of the um, segment. Thumbs up to Bullock's timely shooting. I think we yes, have a slide yes. on that. Um, you yes. know, I've been saying this the entire season. It's not just how many points you have at the end of the game. When you get those points is so yes. important. So when I say timely shooting, I'm looking for that basket that's going to extend our lead from 8 to 10. You know, we're going on a run. We're down. We're trying to get back in the game. That key basket you know, that's going to cut um, the deficit from from I don't from six to four. You know, a team is coming back, you know, um, that 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 shot that's going to keep them at bay. And um, mm -hmm. I think throughout the year, Randall Rose um, has been doing good, a good job getting Bullock and Burke these open shots only to yes. miss it, you know, but Bullock came through this week. Not yes, only was he, he in did. double figures in every game. This is the New Orleans game. Six timely shots. I've been okay. calling Bullock Mr. Buckets. Mr. Buckets. Mr. Defense. Because like I said, he, he gets those quality shots up. Um, That is definitely, if you guys haven't noticed, that is Randall's guy. When Randall right. is in a bind, he looks for him all the time. And he knocks it down. Um, and also, like I said, his defense. He plays defense on the other team's best player, like that that two three person. So, um, I'm definitely um, enjoying watching him. I think he's a keeper. I don't know what the plans are with him, but that's definitely somebody. The other person, thumbs up. Like I said, is Rose. You know, um, he's definitely playing a leadership role. You know, we 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 didn't know what we was going to get when he came, you know, he had traveled a couple teams and he was playing subpar ball and everything, but he seems to actually in, in Tibbs, in Tibbs system, he seems to do well. And, and I'm, I'm excited about the fact that he's doing well in this, in Tibbs uh, system. And also you got to give a shout out to Taj. He's been holding it down. He's been holding it down. He's getting some quality shots, some quality blocks. He's playing defense, doing a little dirty work, you know, and 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 that's what we need. We need that. Like I said before, I'm 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 the old school, you know, I like that that dirty player, that person that, you know, not so much dirty the physical, system, but getting in and get those those hustle points and those rebounds and those blocks and things like that. And he's definitely been been stepping up and doing that for us. And also you got to give it to Noel too. You know, he, he had double point, double figures the other day, you know? Right, and I was right. like, okay, okay, that's right. something different we see it from you. And yeah, you know, and definitely. You, I'm sorry, go ahead. And definitely getting them quality blocks. You know, that block that he had at the basket, you know, it, it really turned the game for us. It right. really turned the game for us. <laughs> right, right. And then also, Noel, I forgot what game it was. He hit two nice short jumpers. If we yeah, that's that, what I'm saying. That I just like, opens okay. Yeah, then now his man has to play him closer, get a little more yeah. space in the lane. So if he could do that, that would be great. Um, yeah. Saucy Thanos, I hope I pronounced that right, said thumbs way up um, for Bullock. Um, yeah, D, that's, my, D, that's, that's Mr. Bucket. <laughs> right. D Grails Bullock is the secret weapon. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. Thumbs down. Now, uh, let me just preface this by saying, I'm not thumbing up a, 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 a player. Like I said, it, it was Reggie Bullock's timely shooting that I was highlighting. And now that we go into the thumbs down, it's not the player himself. It's just an aspect of that player's game that I'm concerned about. Okay. And, and that is Peyton. Energy. His <laughs> energy and his aggressiveness. Not Peyton himself. I know yeah. Peyton is polarizing. You either like him or you don't. Yeah, I you do. To, I happen to to like what he brings. I understand he's not a great shooter. I understand he's probably not a starting point guard. I get all of that. It's not his fault though that he, him, and Rose are the only point guards on the on the team, in my opinion, um, that can hold down that spot. I don't think Quick is ready though. He's getting better, and and 
we played work in that um, position. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's been good for us and sometimes it, it hasn't. So it's yeah. not, it's not, and it's not his fault that Rose can't play 30 minutes, you know, given his injury history. Right. So, but his aggressiveness, one of the things that I liked about him is was his aggressiveness, his yeah. energy. He's going to go, you know, he's going to go to the basket. He's playing like he on fire. He, you know, he has some energy. This past few games, he just has not looked the same. Um, his energy hasn't looked the same to me. Um, he's shooting shots. He's going to the basket, but it's almost like, ah, eh, yeah, whatever. He just doesn't seem as engaged or energized um, as I remember him um, being, yeah. you know, up, up to this point. But yeah. what's, your, what's your take on um, on health, if you have one, this past uh, week? I and, like or if there's somebody else who you're concerned about. I like Peyton as a person, as you said. However, he's the same player. He doesn't seem like he's improved or he's gotten any better. He's, he's still the same person. He's going to give you exactly what he has been given the whole time. He's going to play a little defense. He's going to get a couple steals. He's going to score a little bit. But however, he has not showed me that he has stepped in to really solidify his position. And it just kind of shows because Tibbs don't even trust him in the fourth quarter. You know, you got a rookie playing ahead of you, or and he even brought Frank out a couple times to play in the fourth quarter. You know, it was when a couple people got in foul trouble. So that just kind of says something to me about, you know, how they feel about Peyton. You know, he's solid in some areas, but then the areas that we really need, especially with this run, he has to show us something. Something. I don't know what it is, but something. Right. So you haven't really noticed the difference over the past week or so. Pretty much, he's been the same. To he's been to me. He's been the same, because but you know I expected I expected to come in and you know drive to the basket and I you know get an end one or something or get a little quick you know basket you know to keep passing by somebody you know or you know get a jump shot but you know something like that. I don't I don't really expect him to do no more than that because that's all he's been showing. Like, he's going to do this a couple things for a minute. He's going to sit down because, you know, he's not really, I don't really know. Like, I don't really know what, because I've seen so much for him when he played against us. So I feel like now that he's playing on on our team, I'm looking for those things when he was with Orlando that he was right. killing us with. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and right. I don't see that person. Maybe it's because he cut his hair off or something. I don't really know. You know, so they say, you know, your hair is your, your power. So maybe he, he lost that when he cut that hair off. But I remember him playing us. And I used to hate matching up with him because he used to kill us. Right. Right. Do you think, um, and this is for the chat also could chime in. Do you think with IQ getting better, um, work if he does come back, Shout out to Burke. Hopefully everything is well. He missed um, all four games um, over this past week due to COVID um, protocol. Not sure what's going on. Um, due to HIPAA protocol, they can't tell us um, exactly, but hopefully mm -hmm. he's doing well. Um, if Burke is able to play coming back, IQ is doing better. Do we need Peyton down the stretch and in the playoffs? I say we do, but what I do you think, think we do. and what does the chat think? I think we do. I think regardless of the fact Tibbs has been, has stuck with him. It, it's something that Tibbs see in him. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's not able to pull it out of him. I don't know, but it's something that he sees in him that keeps him at that starting point guard position. Now it doesn't really matter who starts. It matters who closes. And that's something that he has not been able to, to do. And he has not closed our game. So I'm not really sure you know what Tip's thinking is, but whatever it is, he's Tip's starting point guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, Kevin Bergen, Peyton is just a solid career backup. That's it. Nothing more. Nothing less. Um, he was starting for Orlando, though. He was their starting point guard. Yeah. Um, also, his demeanor is poor. This is Roll Brown. Also, his demeanor is poor when he goes back to the end of the bench, especially the last game. He was not cheering on his teammates or in the auto. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on. I just see something different on the court. I didn't really notice. Um, I, di I didn't really notice that. Um, um, 
he can start, Maybe. but he's unplayable in crunch time. And Brooklyn Belly, we need Peyton. Um, yeah, I, I think all hands on deck. I mean, um, he's all a hands tough on defensive deck. guard, though. To, when he has his defense on all cylinders, he's tough. He's tough. You know, he he plays. He does what Tibbs asks him to do defensively. You know, the 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 weakness is the offensive side because we don't really know what we're gonna get from him from time to time. You know. But you know what? I've seen other guards in this league who don't sh- shoot well, but but they do other things at such a high level that they bring more value to the team than Peyton is bringing. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I know he's not shooting that well, but also his playmaking hasn't been great. Now I don't know if it's if it's just that you know he's a better playmaker in an up tempo than he is um, in a half court game, but um. He does. Somebody said in the chat he has tunnel vision. I've I've noticed that a few times yeah. this week, and yeah. it's probably been that way all season. Um, I mean, it's something he, that he's he's stuck because you know there was he was in in a a bunch of talks to be traded, but you know he stayed. So it just speaks that you know he's doing something right in Tib's eyes because he's still here and he's still starting. Yeah, yeah, Tib. Yeah, yeah. Like Tibbs is his own thing. Like there's a lot of things that Tibbs does that we don't quite get, we don't quite understand. But Tibbs is with them, you know, game in and game out, going through the stats and what have you. So there's a reason why um, that's the case uh, for sure. Uh, and part of it is probably that um, if you put it with that second unit, um, even though I think Rose would do well in the first unit, that's not the question. The question is then what? How would Peyton look in the second unit? Hmm. Not, I'm not too sure. Mm. Um, about that. 